I remember yeah, the MySpace. top friends. Yeah. yeah, I never had a Facebook on my MySpace, but that, I feel like you know you can't bring that back. It's I bring too, that back yeah, in a heartbeat. Too I only yeah. like these five people. Yeah, where <laughs> these are the five people I will show like, everyone so, so that I like. Have, so these five them. people have seen my nuts. It's, <laughs> <laughs> we're it's in simple. a club. It's That's exclusive. we're in a club. It's <laughs> Yo, what's up? Welcome to the Joystick Show. We're very professional. Listen, normally professional we start this, this off time. with a joke. Yeah. Normally I would actually start this episode by telling you guys to do some stuff to help support the channel, but I'd actually like to center in on a, what I think is a pretty important topic going on. Yeah. So uh, I would like to just express my solidarity with the Writers Guild of America and the Screen Actors Guild, mm-hmm. and that is why for this episode of the podcast... I will not be joining you, fellas. Mm-hmm. Have a good one, boys. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you guys knew this, but Bobby is a part of SAG. He just got in last oh, yeah? week. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm part of like the uh, like craft services. Damn, um, I didn't yeah, know Bobby was... Yeah, so I, I, I gotta... What's up, fuckers? It's time for a fucking podcast. <laughs> oh, God. Right? Oh, God. Bobby's <laughs> not here, but his twin brother Kevin is. Kevin, we're here to rock Yo. this shit down. You know what I'm fucking saying, guy? Fucking Screen Actors Guild, Writers Guild of America. <laughs> that guy's a fucking bitch. Hmm. You know? That's why I'm the better brother. Why Why? Why are you Italian Bobby's not? Why are you asking questions? Yo, guilds? Isn't that like a nerdy thing? Why are you asking <laughs> questions? What's up, you fuckers? Welcome to the Joystick Show. There's no questions allowed. No I questions am Kevin. Allowed. I'm Dylan. I'm Joey. <laughs> I'm Jerry. And we're here to fucking. Uh, I don't, uh, what does he usually say when he's here? Uh, usually he tells people to like and subscribe. That's usually what he does. <laughs> fucking do that. Like, subscribe. You know what that is? <laughs> you know what subscribing is? Uh, like, is that like when you know you give him money for the nudie magazines that yeah, come yeah, every yeah, month? Yeah, 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 <laughs> he got right. the yeah, idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you spell subscribe? Fucking. <laughs> Why are you asking questions? <laughs> All right, we got a fun fill program for you here. We're going to be talking about spaceships. We're going to be talking about executives. We're going to be talking about Barb the country Harmony. of Finland. Uh, where you want to start it at? I don't really... Bobby's usually much more prepared with this shit. Yeah, I'm, usually, just, I'm just the cooler... He usually has like a notepad too. Better brother, uh, stuff on it as bit. you know. The internet's talking a lot about Barb and Harmer. Barb and Harmer. This fucking guy can't... Even, spell it. Spell it. <laughs> fucking ass. <Barbie. laughs> <laughs> Barbenheimer. Uh, yeah, yeah because which, b- which one do you see first? Is yeah, because Barbie right? and Oppenheimer, I think, came out the same day. They're going. They're going to. Yeah, they're coming out. So the same everyone's day. saying that Barbie created the atom bomb. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I think that movie's gonna bomb. You know what I'm fucking saying, <laughs> my guy. You know what I'm fucking saying, my guy. You know both look really this good. Yo, so what what's saying. the deal? So am I supposed to watch the movie or not? Like, I don't understand. What do you mean? Like, there's a whole strike going on. With the actors and all yeah, this. Well, Are we movie, supposed to go see was movies or not made. anymore? I mean, the Watch movie's it. already made. They're going to make their money even if they don't show up to the role premiere. I'm like, we stand with them. I'm like, bro, you're going to get your money. <laughs> Look, man, I don't want to insult my brother by saying this because, you know, he's very you know, he's tandem with those people, right? But you got to understand that at the end of the, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I was going to say, I was like, first off. That just by the way, Bobby, that felt like a fucking hostage situation. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit, what's up? It's me. <laughs> Whoa. Not, did Bobby get it? No. Then not only did that feel like a hostage situation, but we were getting into a topic that Bobby feels like exactly <laughs> a type of way about. And for Bobby to get something that he cares about and to be like, nah, yeah, nah. <laughs> fucking fuck them actors. I'm not even gonna lie. In the back of my head, I was like, fucking Joey, you could have started anywhere. Nah, man. Okay, shout out to Kevin. He'll be back and we're, He's got uh, 20 minutes. He's got to do some other stuff. Uh yeah no yeah. that shit is uh that shit is wild I kind of knew that was coming for a while technically the 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 Screen Actors Guild had to wait until after June thirtieth before they could officially strike correct so a lot of people who were in the loop were just kind of waiting for July first and that was when we thought it was gonna happen so when it didn't everybody was like okay maybe there's some talks happening maybe the Writers Guild stuff is gonna come to a close so then I had when I heard this was happening this is like a really really big fucking deal I don't mm-hmm. think these two unions have been on strike at the same time in like 60 years or something like that. Correct, yes. It's been a very uh, long time. Everybody really knows about the writer's strike that happened in like the early 2000s that affected like a lot of TV, but also some movies as well. And that was pretty, you know, monumental. You can only imagine how crazy it's going to be when all of the actors are on strike as well. So that being said, I am excited as shit. 
Because mm. this is when creativity comes a yeah. knocking, bro. Yeah, and not only that, but I'm just imagining like like when I imagine like this type of scenario, I don't imagine a world with no movies. I imagine like a replacement ref in the NFL type vibe. Yeah, where all of these movies now. Mm-hmm. Are going to have you know cringe talk stars? Entertainment isn't yes. gonna stop. Going to be acting now. Yes, good entertainment is gonna be yes. put on yeah. hold for a while. The stuff you want to see, <laughs> We're gonna the be stuff you some... didn't know you wanted to see, is coming yes. very shortly. Full force too. Oh yeah. fuck it. yeah, you know, Shit's reality TV, game shows. Because people got to remember too, because a lot of reality TV, it's like there's casting, there's everything. You know, most of those people are actors; they mm-hmm. aren't real people. And if they are real people, they're hand selected yeah. through like many routes. Right. So now we're getting fucking anybody. Anything. <laughs> Can we imagine like all the cringe talk people we know, like on TV, like oh they all God. get a show, dude? Yeah. <laughs> this is the time. This is the this time. This is their this time. This is the moment where I wish I had the money and the means, but man. Oh my God! It's the guy perfect. with the fits, bro. Where he does the weird laugh, the giggle. <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna oh. <laughs> the fucking fuck boy guy. <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna call in TLC and just like do an anonymous like I need you guys to do a show about this wolf family and just send them oh all the my alpha god. Male oh videos. my god. We're here, the alpha's gonna challenge. The alpha's gonna challenge. I'm the fucking alpha, you understand? <laughs> we got it, Jack. <laughs> Yo, those are my favorite people. They they bother me. I'm like, no, I, I love them. I love them so much. Anytime no, I see them, I get so excited. There's very few cringe talk that bothers me. I mean, I mean, there is obviously everyone's got like the things that bother them, but I feel like now I'm just like immune. You know, I watch them. Okay, hold on, because I really want to go into this, but are we done with Barbie and Oppenheimer? <laughs> Oh, do yeah, I mean, I guess let's yeah. go around and be like, which one will you guys see first? Well, Barbie. I was just going to say that he, he was talking about how we, we could have talked about it today, but I don't want to talk about it until I've seen them. Yeah. So that's what I have to wait mm. for. Which one are you going to see first, though? I'm going to see Barbie first. Yeah. And then I'll see Oppenheimer. That's what everyone's I want to see Oppenheimer. Is Oppenheimer a Netflix movie? No, they're both in theaters. Okay. But either way, I'm going to watch Barbie first. But yeah, maybe I should watch the Oppenheimer first. I don't know. Because like- if it's like... Because I know it's going to be a good movie. That I, it's Christopher Nolan. He's not going to fuck it up. Mm-hmm. But I don't. I don't want it to be one of those movies. But where at the end of it, I'm like, oh man. fuck. You know? I mean, yeah. Yeah. And then I go watch Barbie, and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, word. Maybe I'll double feature it. It's like, oh no, they're in the real world. Yeah. How are they going to get back? No. <laughs> oh no. I'm so invested. And then Will Ferrell comes on screen. In Oppenheimer, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but fucking. Uh, yeah, speaking of cringe talkers who who, who don't bother you. Who's some of your favorite cringe talkers? Because I could go on this for. Oh my! Ooh. They're so. Um, you know what? It, you know what it is about the alpha, like the wolf family. I like the lore of it. You know, yeah. like there's always like a new part happening. Yeah. You know, there's always like a game they're playing. Like the Delta's doing yeah. this. I'm like, oh shit! For me, it, <laughs> it's got to be the crazy boys, man. Some crazy boys. Oh, bro. that yo, you're not the thinker. Those kids. The what? <laughs> Explain who it is. <laughs> so the crazy boys, right? I, I this is a, this is a, an important part of cringe talk lore for me, right? Mm. And again, I'm not saying this in a bullying manner because these are children who have their videos and it's fun for them, and that's where we started, right? Mm. But it's just like it's like a, a specific flavor of the video, you know? You watch it. So first <laughs> off, the first video I think that they did was the leader of the crazy boys, who's the I think they're like a group of brothers. It's like three white blonde brothers. Oh, okay, um, not yes. who I'm thinking. And he's like, he's like, what's up? The people make fun of him because they, they say he has the the Fortnite accent, which is like with the crazy boys, you know, like <laughs> when, you, when you the W's for the R's and shit like that. We drink your prime energy like that. Uh, so his you know they do trick shot videos where they like flip the bottles right but what was like jerry said with the lore as the videos went on more of the brothers started to get introduced with with the older crazy brother crazy boy right then this black kid shows up who's doing like bottle flips and and basketball trick shots crazy crazy neighbor bro (laughs) what's up with the crazy boys right here back with crazy neighbor Yo, it's my favorite crazy neighbor. I mean, I feel like I'm this close to following. I'm this I feel close. like that's just like what happened with all like the micro like cultures. Everyone was just like, yo, what if the, what if this had what's, what if this random shit was like a series yeah. with characters and plot? Yeah. But it's nothing. It's, it's, Fuck just, it, it's what I put in the, the chat yesterday of when the two of them are going to take. He's like, what's up? I'm here with crazy neighbor. He's gonna try new prime lime. He's never tried the green oh, that? before. And then the, the, the black kid, he tries it. He's like, that's pretty good. I like it. And then he gives it back. And the kid's like, are, are you for real? And he's like, yeah. And he's like, oh, I thought he was lying. That's why. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> he was like, that was good. I give it a 10 out of 10. For real? For real? 
I thought you were lying. And then, like, I was like, you want him to lie? What? It's fucking. And they don't even do. They, they just do the same thing. It's always bottle flips and like basketball. They don't know how to do anything else. They would have to. They <laughs> the, would have to be a different character if they the, did something the, else. The one that's iconic for me is the the food review guy, the long hair. He has like really long hair, and he's oh, like, Doctor Pepper, ten, ten, ten out of ten. Nope, not a fan. <laughs> him, he bothers me. I want to give him a, a show with Gordon Ramsay. Did, no. Wasn't he that one that they like found out pedophile stuff? Uh, all the comments keep saying that everyone that they said all the comments are like he's a, like linked to pedophilia and like uh diaper wearing fetishes interesting interesting person those probably would be linked yeah <laughs> oh yeah i don't like that one at all yeah, yeah let's yeah like this guy this guy, the guy who goes to, like, this guy sounds bad news mr beast burger i one of my uh, no. i haven't seen him around but the guy that married the fucking mannequin like there was a guy he would like oh. he had it was an old dude with a mannequin it at was first, an old dude yeah and they were just friends and then wow. and then they then they started like then it got like sexual yeah, and then there was yeah. one where they were married and had a child and I was like what the they're fuck? probably just oh happy together yeah, yeah, man yeah, yeah. they just they just forgot about the social media yeah, yeah. stuff because they're just doing them isn't know? there a guy in Japan that married Hatsumiku like he went Hatsune into Miku? court and everything the blue haired yeah. virtual singer yeah, he did. Yeah, he I think he him. like he legit has the like the certificate that he is the husband to that character that fictional character he did crazy it. interesting he did it man the internet is a weird place i was literally about to go on that on that (laughs) same fucking term because it's like dude if you would have told me like 10 years ago like if you would have told 16 year old bobby like when you're an adult and you and all your fucking friends who you're still friends with now are in your mid-20s like 30 percent of your entertainment is going to come from people who should not have instagram like <laughs> middle of nowhere people who like turn on their camera and just look at the camera and go say something like oh my bad and then turn it off like that's gonna be <laughs> that's gonna be common. well that's how it started i feel like the the the, the uh, anti the antithesis of this i got that out that's a fucking yeah, tongue yeah. twister good job Thank you. The ants flip at this. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, the fact that old people learned how to use technology. Oh, yeah. But not 100%. Yeah. But then I, I tell so, you this. I'm so like, it's like... I'm scared we're going to turn into that. We are. No. But no. Yeah. No. Think about it's, it. Nah, yes, not me. It's, it's going to take a while. Oh, though. It's going to be like when we're in like our 60s and like yeah, holograms all and I'm, shit. Dylan and I are already back on Facebook. That's already <laughs> a <laughs> bad I'm start. already commenting on shit. I am oh, also geez. already commenting on... I'm already on that wave of like, congratulations. If you Your think about it, great. next year is our 10-year high school reunion. Crazy. Word. Because I, I do loving, shit like right. that, and I get terrified. I'm yeah, like, so we I, are, I mean, you I'm know. turning into my dad. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> I'm going mean, to start commenting gonna... in all capitals. What's up, brother? <laughs> like people is just once tired I see, of once I see Bobby smoking and t- talking on the phone on speaker walking around the house, I'm going to fucking bug <laughs> out. I'm going to be like, it's Bobby, <laughs> Bobby, go look in the mirror. He's going to have his... <laughs> He's gonna have his hands on his hips, no. <laughs> whistling. Oh Holy my god, no. <laughs> that might be my favorite dad trait of all time. So that when my dad is on a phone call here in the basement, takes it upstairs, walks in front of the TV where me, my mom and I are watching TV, and then lowers the volume on the TV so he can continue the FaceTime conversation on the. Fr- it's like, bro, you were in the basement, and you could have <laughs> shut the door, and it would have been like an echo. You was just, you yeah, know. right. But it's you know, dad stuff. <laughs> But we're just, like we're just gonna turn into dads on Facebook, man. Mm-hmm. It's not gonna be good. We're, nah, gonna, we're be gonna be on threads. I'm gonna go on to like I'm gonna go on to Joey's fucking Facebook account and I'm gonna start reading and it's gonna be like no one's ever there for me when I really need it. But who are those five that I know will definitely be? And he's gonna tag me in it. And I'm like, now I've gotta tag Dylan and my five. <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole thing. Then we're man. all gonna start tagging each other. Oh, man, I'm gonna start posting those pictures of like you know find spongebob in the thing and you're like oh i found him but i won't tell you where it is no, remember those name threads. something you missed from the 70s craft mac and cheese it's yep. a dumb bitch they still have craft mac, <laughs> mac and, and cheese. cheese bro is like your your top friends on facebook is that too controversial now like they can't add it anymore why i forgot about that i remember on the MySpace? top friends yeah. yeah i never had a Facebook on my myspace but that, i feel like you know you can't bring that back it's i bring too, that back yeah, on yeah, heartbeat too stressful. i only yeah. like these five people yeah where <laughs> these are the five people i will show like, so, everyone so that i like so these five them. people have seen my nuts it's, <laughs> it's we're simple. in a club that's we're in a club it's simple <laughs> 
This actually, don't say don't say club. It makes it sound like we have yachts and shit. Oh cool. my god, it's, it's not, not cool at all. <laughs> this ain't no fucking social club, bro. You're gonna call it the Nut Squad? Like, yes. bro, it's, it's squad. not gonna be any better. Do we get bananas? The Ball Brigade, the Nut Guild. Let's bring it back. Oh. The Guild. We're gonna go on strike. Fucking uh, no, the, the the dad on Facebook thing is like a perfect segue because this is something I've been meaning to talk about. It's something I've been meaning to rant about on the podcast for weeks. Okay, and every fucking morning, it like it's clockwork. Okay, because I can tell you what happens, right? Okay. Well, I don't. I can't explain it, but when I wake up in the morning and I go up on my phone, you feel like P Diddy. Yes. When I wake up in the morning and I go on my phone, I usually check like Instagram because then I see like the messages you guys have put, and then I'm just on Instagram for like 20 minutes. Yeah. But then my natural body clock wakes me up and I got to go and pee, right? So I get up and I go do my morning pee. But I bring my phone. Yeah, Every morning when I go to pee and I have my phone in front of me, I go onto Facebook. And the first post that I get on Facebook, without a doubt, every day except weekends, is the final Jeopardy question from the Jeopardy page from the day before. So as you know, Trivia Jeopardy fan, I open it up three out of ten times. I know it. The other seven, I have no what the I have like, like what the regular, fuck is like regular Jeopardy. exactly. The yeah. final Jeopardy question is mad hard. Every fucking comment under these, like I could pull them up right now and show you seven hundred plus comments of old white American people that are just like that was easy, and they never say what it is. Yeah, they never say what it is. I knew it from the second he said that. Too easy. Come on, Jeopardy. And then no, you know, people reply, "What is it?" And it's just other people replying, like, "It might be this," but like, shut the fuck up. You're not smart. <laughs> just be honest and don't write anything, or just be like me and Google it because it's just be honest, a bunch write of the wrong thing. No one wants to write the wrong thing. That's yeah, so they, they just want to be like, "I'm smart" on the yeah. internet for the page where no, it's, it's like fucking, tests it, your knowledge. And this is honestly just one of those things that grinds my gears, especially. But like, this is a, yeah, this is a very specific. <laughs> yeah, it's a very specific. You know what really grinds my gears. Every morning I wake up. All right, so here we go. Right. This was this was yesterday's Names the Same, a 1931 Charlie Chaplin film and a West Coast bookstore opened since 1953. Both bear this name. Comments. I still have a t-shirt purchased at the bookstore almost 40 years ago. Used to love crossing Jack Kerouac Alley with a purchase. <laughs> Climb up the rickety stairs to the loft with a beverage and crack it open. Yo, okay, no okay. answer. Okay, Bobby, Bobby. I- I'm 100% on board with you. Oh, already. yeah, right? Already on, on board. Fuck Fun these fact, people. it's also a strip soon. club <laughs> in Fresno, California, and a year round Christmas store in San Diego. Okay. That one was easy, right near Kerouac Alley. Like, bro, this is shit you would know when you Google it and see the address. But whatever, I'm just saying, these fucking people piss me <laughs> off. Wow. I knew that. Every single time. <laughs> wow. It's so, like it's that it happens so frequently that the one or two times somebody actually writes the answer, I'm like, he's a fucking hero. I love this guy because mm-hmm. he, you know, he knew it and he fucking shared the information. But holy fuck, fuck those people on the in the Jeopardy Facebook page. I Are they on our hit death. on our enemy list? Nah, they're on Bobby's enemy list. Yeah, on Bobby's enemy podcast. list. Nah. Nah. that's exclusively for Carl Anthony Towns and uh, Rob Deerdeck. Yeah, old time. <laughs> yeah. well, well, we, we got more people we can add to that. I think I don't it know. Has to come naturally enough. You know? Yeah, I could force. We it. can't just sit. We here can't and just people pick we anyone. Hate. Yeah. <laughs> fucking like. <laughs> Who do we hate today? No, I mean, I, well, I mean, we do the opposite and praise dictators, so I think we're good. I wouldn't say we praise. We praise them for subscribing. Of course, Which, speaking of, you should definitely yeah. do that. You should definitely <laughs> subscribe. I don't know if for Kevin sure. mentioned that earlier in the episode, but uh, <coughs> yeah, he said do that. Oh, okay, he yeah. mentioned. He alluded to it. Mm. Got it. All right. Mm-hmm. Just gotta keep him. You know, my mom tells me to keep out on him. He, he's not <laughs> up there like the rest of us. You know, I gotta keep an eye on him. I gotta come clean to you, Bobby. Yeah, and I'll come. I mean. Uh, Bobby asked me earlier today why I haven't been hanging out with him mm-hmm. because we haven't been hanging out lately. Uh, and, you know, some of it, of course, is applying for jobs and things like that. But uh, the main part of it is Rogue Legacy 2 is a thing. <laughs> uh, and that game is out. Yeah, this, this probably I know exactly what this chapter is going to be called. Yeah. Um. So it, uh, it's a lot of pain. I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, Rogue Legacy is a very fun game. Oh, yeah. Bobby just had a very nice, intimate experience with it in yeah. five days. Platinum did in like three days. Pretty proud of that. Very nice, yes. It's very, very hard cool. platinum, too. Mm-hmm. And uh, the Rogue Legacy platinum is something I do not think I would want to go for. It is, in uh, Rogue Legacy 2? The Rogue Legacy Two. It doesn't pl- look that bad. I looked at it. it. The the it's not, but the game itself is. There's so much there. It's just kind of like I. 
I'm just going to play the game. Yeah. And that's mm-hmm. what I've been doing. I'm not going to try to platinum it. I'm not even thinking about any of that shit. I'm just playing the game. So to step away from Rogue Legacy 2 for a second, yeah. the fact that you have been not hanging out with me to play a video game reminds me of the Dark Ages when Dylan would not hang out with me to play video games. Yeah. It just, sort of, it just shuddered my skin Yeah, there well, for well a it's second. not. It's this, the, the schedule, it's like workout or beach in the day uh-huh. and then video game at night. Yeah. So I feel, and then I hang out with you at night and then that's when the interference comes into play. Mm. Gotcha. I feel like that's where it is. Gotcha. Yeah. Cause mm. I was, you know, I, I, I'm not trying to relate this back cause we talked about this like two episodes ago, but fucking Smosh put out a video where, uh, you know, fuck, apparently Anthony wrote Ian like one of those therapy letters that he, you're not supposed to give the person to get feelings out like years ago. Yeah. And they had mentioned it and they were like, if this video gets a shit ton of likes, which it did immediately, I'll let Ian read it. So they had like one of those other like cool, intimate, not really jokey videos. Yeah. But a lot of it was about how like they focused too much on the content and stuff that their like friendship started to dwindle. So like I was low key going to hit you up and be like, can we start hanging out when like, we don't have to do the podcast? podcast. Like, it'll give us more shit to talk about on the, the podcast, podcast, and we can still be friends and not fight with each other. Not that we're fighting. I don't think I ever hung out with beefing. Dylan. We're just beefing behind You've never him. had a one-on-one with Dylan? <laughs> never. You guys go to concerts no. with each other. What the fuck are you Oh, well, that's, about? that's I guess that's a one-on-one. That's the most what I'm intimate about... you could get with Dylan. He, like, cries and shit at like, those hey, things. Joey, Where... Joey, <laughs> chug the Gatorade outside of a venue, like, multiple I've times I've never together. seen Dylan <laughs> cry, so <laughs> you've you got that on me. Think that's true. That. I've I've been there for Dylan with that front front bottoms concert. I don't think there's any permutations of people in the five of us that haven't done a one on one. Because I've one on one with all. I brought everybody. I don't think I one on one with you. Have we one on? Maybe back in the day, maybe. Probably back in the so. day. It's been a minute. I want to have like more one on ones with you. Yeah. I'm with trying to eliminate the one-on-ones. I'm trying to do fucking all <laughs> hey, together. I, mean, I mean, hey, we've had the five people c- cook, at, you know, upstairs. We've had the five yeah. people a little bit. Listen, Jose's the one v one master. <laughs> Jose's here. That's he but is. that's the, exactly you know he's the one who one v ones. We're not one v one people. I we're two v twos. I think that's how that works. We're gonna fight each other to death. We should. What is something that we haven't done as a group? You the one you you know the one you're always bringing up the we should travel somewhere like go somewhere on a vacation or say this for park. fucking years yeah. what you do as friends you go you go places <laughs> Jesus Christ yeah, we were literally yeah. mentioning we didn't someone mention it like a couple weeks ago and then we just didn't come to <laughs> yeah Bobby so. mentions it every Bob three mentions weeks it every five yeah. fucking years <laughs> Bobby every week we should just do that Man, guys we should go to like the Poconos or something with like you a know pool table. like I'm not gonna <laughs> lie bro I love you guys to death you're my best friends. But every day I have to go on Instagram and see other people do cool shit with their friends. And I'm like, all we fucking Bobby, what do, do is eat fast food Bobby, and play what video games. I want to go out. I want to go, go eat brunch. Let's, let's do, do it. it. Yeah. Go park. I You're a big eater. eater. What do you mean? That's why we haven't eaten brunch. Didn't we oh, say we were going to <laughs> You know how much food I eat now, bro? I gained like fucking 13 pounds. Oh, oh, I eat like three and a half meals a day, bro. I eat vegetables now. Yo, what happened to July 4th? Yeah, yeah, what happened in July? Yeah, I was like, we should it do something. It was raining. I was in Connecticut. I'm Bro, sorry. Yeah, I think month, they fell apart. Yeah, yeah. Months before July 4th, I was like, yo, guys, Bobby, we should, we should go honestly, to the Poconos and we should Airbnb it. And we were like, bet. And then like no one said anything. And then I waited mm-hmm. another two weeks and I was like, we should do it. And everybody's like, yeah, let's do it. And I, everybody was super enthusiastic. And then I was like, we should Airbnb it now because they're all going to run out. And then sure enough, nothing got fucking done. I was in Connecticut. Right, so I say, know. you know what? The next thing we're doing, I'm, I want to plan it. I want to just be like, but I already bought everything. You're not We're planning. doing it. You're not <laughs> planning it. I just need people who say fucking yes. There's a difference. I, we all say yes. Yeah. The greatest and then planner of just all time. Waiting <laughs> to hear if it's happening. So I want to do stuff. So yeah, that's <laughs> stuff, so I'm getting at. I want to do some recreational activities. I want to hang out I'm with out of the beach We could watch like An elderly band Or some shit You know Cause like I, I fucking talk to people Like I talk to my <laughs> uncles And aunts They'll ask me questions About you guys Like the other day I was explaining to One of my aunts I was like No I've known them Since we were like 15 And they were like You've known them For that long And I was like Yes They're like Why don't you post Pictures with them And I was like I don't know then again, and, and there's no excuse because I see you guys like twice a week. Like, you know what I mean? We don't go, yeah, because there's no event. There's yeah. nothing to take there's a picture of. There's nothing to take of. a picture of. Right. Yeah. Very true. So, point is, I would like to start, you know, being friends. Let's do it. <laughs> you know? I mean, Bobby said that we, me and Bob still have to play, like, we still have to hoop. Yeah. He said that for Ooh. mad long. I mean, it's hot as fuck now. But I'm On some yeah. sad shit the other day, fuck it. Uh, I was re watching the baseball video we, when we made when we went to go see City Field. And I was like, that was such a fun day. <laughs> we all went out. 
And then right after that, I followed a ladle on Instagram, bro. A ladle? A ladle. Like a. His name is Samson. It's a green ladle. It looks like a dinosaur. He's mad cute. Oh! <laughs> ladle. I was mad I, confused. I, all I'm getting at is I'm sad. <laughs> Just, <laughs> I just want we good times and laughs. The, good, the thing is, is that <laughs> everything is, is like money. And I don't know. I think we're all in a, a pretty stable spot yeah. about like. I, 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 there's, that's not an excuse. We <laughs> all have fucking jobs. Yeah, we all. Yeah, everyone has a job. Jerry's the president, bro. Like, <laughs> Jerry is the president. Ah oh, man. Yeah. Can we do right it. now? What do the, you want to do? What are we doing? What are we doing? Just pick it. Not the day. What are we doing? Coney Island. No, that's wet. <laughs> <laughs> I hate Coney Island. Guys, this is what's going to happen. Right. We're not going to decide on something and then it won't happen. That's no, it's because exactly Jose's like... not here. If Jose yeah, was here, Jose would say no to control. everything. All right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Very true. Very yeah. true. Yeah. Fucking let's, let's go bowling. It's, listen, hear me out. It's Cause like because all, all of my shit's sports too and I, I don't want to be that guy. I'm but down I, for I'm all batting cage. Top golf. I'm not for both of those. I'm, I'm down for I'm down for batting cage. I'm down for like top go- golf driving range. I'm not for all right, batting yeah, cage. Let's do it. Like, down. Like that. Just do a guys day. It. Yeah, words. Do all of it. A whole guys day where we just be stereotypical. Like like let's go. Yeah, let's yeah, go. We we just, just wear we wife po- Get the polos out. <laughs> we should start a holiday every year. Bros day. Like Valentine's Day, but it's just a day where we just you know we eat at some spot that we really like. We go do some recreational stuff, and then maybe we end it with like a chill, like go watch a movie that we want to watch. <laughs> so to just do things what friends do. <laughs> we should do this thing. We should hang out. As put friends. a name. We on don't it. do it, Joey. <laughs> like if I make it a holiday, it's something we can look forward. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> it's something we'll all remember. Like oh shit, I gotta hang out with my friends that day. Oh my god. Let's go rock climbing, guys. That's what we need to do. Yo, my friend Keith does a lot of rock climbing. Yo, like I see these men indoor... rock climbing videos on the Instagram. Word, it looks interesting. That. Okay, that was a joke. Climb a rock. <laughs> We're not all getting on board with the I rock. I seen climbing. some guy do. He was on the wall. I was about he to say. Like I was like, we named like eighty things, and if the one thing that <laughs> excited me <laughs> rock climbing. was rock climbing. Like shit. Oh man. I'm still on strike, so if people want to bring oh, up topics, you guys both have cat shirts on. You got a cat? What a segue. Hi, Yo, I got a cat too. <laughs> that was amazing. Jerry comes in the clutch every time. Jerry Bobby, and I come just, on. Jerry, that was all pink. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Nope. Yo. Yeah, that was better. That was like an 8 out of 10. Yeah, I'll take it. Oh, man. Which it. Nice. You want to talk about... Uh, we got Usher, that whole controversy. Oh, yeah, there. No, let me bring this up. It's not a controversy. Let me bring up all not of, a controversy. Let me bring up all of Joey's ideas. Joey said we could talk about <laughs> Prime Day, the SAG strike, the Burger King just cheese sandwich. Yeah, yeah. In, in Thailand. Uh, oh my sandwich. god, yeah. dude. Uh, it's the Barbie was... movie. You could talk about cleaning shit out of your room because your family's coming over and things you collect. Uh, and then Usher wanting to fuck everybody's girl. And then, um, and then we figured out what time we were gonna do the podcast. Yeah, <laughs> the most important part. So what's up with this cheese? Sandwich? I was about to say, yeah, <laughs> that was the one that struck Jerry's attention. In Wait, t- is that that sandwich that's just stacks yeah. of single twenty? Cheese. It's exactly twenty-one stacks of the cheeses. One and of my they, friends, they and it's in it. Thailand. I don't know if it's getting popular that they're gonna bring it here. One of my friends posted a picture holding it today. You can you if you order through like the kiosk, I think there's like a certain way you can do it. Like they have like the touch screen. Uh-huh. There's like a certain way. I you think can that's do probably it. No, how he did honestly it. Honestly speaking, that friend is known to frequent Asian American or Asian countries rather. So it, he actually could be. There. He could just be in one of the Asian. You know what it is actually? It's Will from Malloy. Mm. You know what the worst part about that sandwich is? What? Yellow American cheese sucks. Yeah. Yeah, like it's you could have picked any cheese, it's like prison cheese. Could have been anything. You were, you were like, "Yo, we got extra cheese I in mean, the it's bag." It's called processed cheese Honestly for a speaking, reason. Like, like let's just, let's, first of all, an all cheese sandwich is garbage. Just not. <laughs> we're not gonna try to defend this no. in any way, shape, or form. But if we're being real, if it were no, different, but, if it were different types of cheeses, at least you have a medley going on, you know. Yeah. But like fucking the twenty idea. stacks of Kraft singles in a bun. That ain't no. it. That so ain't it, chief. Where does it go from? I'll, I'd eat that. How many cheeses would you eat stacked up? I mean, all of them. Well, if it's you wouldn't t- eat like a grilled cheese. I don't want just. That's but, a grilled cheese. That's, that's looky what it is. That, it's not a grilled cheese though. Two, it's like two um, stacks on a thing. They that's don't. Like, they don't melt it. That's You're an right. American Red Cross sandwich. I feel like I just they don't melt it. The they don't melt it. I saw the picture today. It's just like a hard, block, yeah, hard cheese in the bun. 
it's it not gets, a grilled like, that's cheese. That's not good. You think it's like still cold from refrigerator? Yeah, it's yeah, not Yeah, I would hot. imagine. It's not a hot because if it was hot, it would melt. <laughs> the, that's eating, how well, you know it's The not cheese hot. melts it's once it's cheese. on the patty and it melts. But if there's no patty, it's just cheese. Yeah. Hold up! Can we just fuck? J- Dylan gave us banana chips earlier, and we haven't even talked about <laughs> yeah, that I shit. Can, I'm still you know, upset. I had a, no, I had a whole thing where I was like, I have like different weird snacks at home, and I was gonna bring them, but then I'm like, that we'd have to like eat on the podcast, and then that's a whole thing because we'd be like chewing into the mics, you know. So you're telling me that I asked you three days in a row for something interesting to do, on <laughs> and the then podcast, I had something, and you had I something to no. do, and you said no to it for that bullshit, stupid reason. What? Because it's mad stuff to bring, and it, we would be chewing into the microphone. Yeah. Jose just walked into my house with a brand new laptop and like a 30 pound monitor, bro. You could have brought some <laughs> chips. I That's brought, all I'm I saying. I brought 10 banana cheese. Do- I'm not I mean banana doodles. Banana doodles? Banana is that, doodles. Is that the name of it? Uh, Banoodles. Where did you find that? It was that, uh, I think it's just called Banana Kick. Badoodles. No, it was uh, H Mart. It's like a Asian supermarket. I've heard of H Mart. They've expanded a lot now. They're like every two exits on the highway now. It's pretty interesting. Mm. Pretty nice. Noise. But noodle is that ass seen on TV thing where it's just like a <laughs> string. Like you a, said, like, ass seen on TV. Ass seen on TV. <laughs> but noodle. Yeah, but noodle. The fuck is but noodle? Oh, guys, we have to order food. I thought it's a. It's a long right. like. It's like a. Um, it's like a pipe cleaner, but it has rubber around it, and you use that to like fold up your bags of chips. But noodle. They basically sell like rubber pipe cleaners. What's your favorite ass seen on TV product? Oh, slap chop. Uh, Never owned it, but okay, it was no, better fun. question. Better question. By the way, this is a put together podcast. I played a stupid character for the first five minutes. Um, this is hard. A good question for you. Your favorite ass scene on TV product, as terms of like you know efficiency and how good it works, and then the ass scene on TV product you always wanted as a kid. Mm, I I already know what I want to say. The, as a kid, it was always moon shoes. I was like, oh, oh shit, moon that's shoes. cool. But, like, my parents never ordered everything through the phone, so I just never asked whenever yeah, I yeah. saw things on TV like that. Yeah. But I was always like, damn, those kids, like, they're having mad fun. I wanted, I wanted soccer boppers. I soccer wanted that, bopper. and then my cousin punched the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> my, we, we were like, oh, cool. We put on the soccer boppers. Ready? Let's go. And my cousin JC just guts me in the stomach. <laughs> I couldn't breathe. It's funny because I pictured <laughs> JC, too. <laughs> Let's go. Nailed it. Don't want. Oh, and then I was like, this shit sucks. It's as far as efficiency, though. Hmm. I'm going to have to give it to the Ninja Bullet. That shit does I work. I use that. That shit does work. Yeah, I mean, With I the, use like a... I like still have the old one, one, the Magic Bullet. I still My dad yeah, still uses the Jack yeah, LaLanne yeah. juicer. <laughs> that shit is like 15 years old. He juices everything he can. Just buys assorted vegetables and fruits. He literally just hands me a glass once a week with like some weird colored liquid. He's like, try it. Try it. What is it? Beet juice. I'm like, right, okay. <laughs> That's that fun, nah, bro. I want juice. Remember the shake weight and everyone was making fun of that? <laughs> yeah, that, that. Was a sensation, bro. I saw a video the other day of this guy going around the gym. And he's like, yo, man, will you spot me for sit-ups? And they're like, yeah. So he sits, he stands on his toes. And then when he comes up for the sit-up, he shakes weight like by his <laughs> dick. Like every single time. And the guys who do it, they're like, this fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. We love pranks. I think that's what we needed. We need to start a prank channel. Just pranking each other? Yeah. On some Johnny Knoxville, like, because <laughs> nothing could go wrong. No, Remember that I guy, Fousey? Like... Fousey, too. I mean, it's like, it's all fake. So, like, we just have to, like, hire, like, we find, like, some people outside, pay him money. And, Who's like... that other guy? The, the Eastern European dude? Fuck, what was his name? That he had, like, the whole brand on the pranks. Something with the Z, right? Sounds Vitali? Familiar. Vitali Z? Oh, yeah. That guy did porn. Vitalized. That guy did a bang bus video. Was it a prank? Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Poppy, Poppy brings this up way too often. Because it's <laughs> hilarious, bro. When I first found out about it, I was like, nah. And then when I found out about it, I was like, that's hilarious. Could you bro. imagine in the middle of the video, he's like, it's a prank. Ah. Oh, it's no prank. <laughs> Apparently, like, it was like very soon after he came to the country. So he was like looking for work or whatever. But, like, it's, like, a threesome video with, like, a porn star girl and, like, him and another dude. But he can't get it up. <laughs> so she gives up on him. And the whole rest of the video is just him, like, sitting there by himself. So all this shit that he gets about being, like, the coolest guy. Everybody just, like, shuts shits on him. They're like, nah, bro. Check this video out. <laughs> have you seen this, though? <laughs> yeah, word. Damn. Speaking of pranks, though. Have you seen this uh, prank panel? The new uh, Johnny Knoxville Eric Andre show? 
I've Yo, heard of it. I've heard that he had to leave. I thought it was canceled. No, no, no. He didn't. Well, he left, and then Johnny Knoxville got him back. It was like because mm. he set him on fire. <laughs> In you know typical Johnny Knoxville fashion, Johnny Knoxville set Eric Andre on fire, and Eric Andre was this. like, "I can't stay on the show." And then Knoxville got him to get back on. But it's a prank show with Johnny Knoxville, Eric Andre, and I forgot her name. It's the woman who hosts Nailed It, the baking show. Yeah, yeah. Nicole Byer or something like that. Yeah, the, the three kings of pranks. Yeah. So long story <clears throat> short, uh, the show is like. It's kind of like phone tap from Z100 is the best way I could describe it, oh, except yeah. with a visual element where people who want to prank other people go to the best in the business to prank whoever they want to prank. Mm-hmm. So I don't know much about the show other than like the synopsis for it because I haven't really given it an episode. However, my mom was watching it the other day mm-hmm. and I passed by and I watched one prank and I thought it was pretty, it's pretty funny what they did. Essentially, it's like a mom who wanted to prank her like teenage son. So, like, I think the prank, again, I didn't watch the full of it, so I'm just guessing here, was that they were going to get her son to go to a location, and then they dressed the mom up as a clown because he's afraid of clowns. And she was going to, like, go and scare him, and it was supposed to be, like, some haunted prank or whatever. But they switch it up, and they ended up pranking the mom and getting the son in on it. So as the mom is in full, like, clown makeup next to, like, all the screens and the monitors that the cameras are looking at, they're like, okay, get ready to go in. They get, like, a knock on the hotel room door that the son's in, and it's a prostitute. (laughs) And the mom's immediately like, where the fuck does he have money to get a hooker? What is it? (laughs) So it's like they put a spin on the prank, and I thought that was fucking hilarious. Because at first glance, it looks like a super, like... Like a dumb prank. Yeah. She's gonna scare her son. Gonna scare but as soon as like the hooker part comes in, you're like, that's the that's the Eric Andre. <laughs> that's there it is. There it is. Is Eric Andre like his humor, like where he's just like, Don't you say a fucking word. No, Don't you say no, like that's it's... more his show, right? Yeah. It's uh, I, I the best way I could describe it is like parts emanate, but it's very far from the Eric Andre yeah. show. Yeah. <laughs> I think everything is very. I don't think anything's Andre close show. to the Eric Andre. Yeah, show. bird up. That's a beast of its own. <laughs> ranch up. Legalize ranch. <laughs> Legalize ranch. My dad's been getting into it. He's like, this guy's crazy. We got time for one more topic. <gasps> oh. What did you do, Jerry? This week? I haven't done shit. I've been playing Street Fighter. How is Street How's Fighter? Street Fighter, Jerry. It was fucking good. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I, you create your own character. Are you like dismorphed and everything, bro? I so I so you know how when you start a story mode, right? Like you get to create a character in the beginning, bro. This game, I just pressed X one time too many, and I'm stuck as this like random fucking character that gets randomly created. What just can't change? It. I mean, you have to play the game to change it. Play the game to change it, bro. <laughs> nah, cause it's like it's like a it's like it's like a create your own character kind of Street Fighter, but it's weird. Like you can't literally learn how to play the game. Cause you're like switching all the moves out like all the time. Oh, I see. Like imagine like a you know the the fighters from Smash Bros where you just fucking like pick and choose from like a handful of shit. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like that. Mm. So I was just like, I'd rather use the the characters from the game. I rather I, I don't want to play as myself. I exactly. Wanna, if I'm gonna like yeah, <laughs> I've seen a uh, Oni play it. He's obviously like a big armed, small legged fighter. Yeah, you can make him like some huge fat guy. You can like I've seen some crazy stuff. Any game that has that is immediately a 10 out of 10. (laughs) And you could just fight people on the street, like, no pun intended, street fighter. I mean, yeah, you can just, like, pull and, like, fucking, like, suplex them and shit. (laughs) It's crazy. I've just been street fighting in real life, you know? Yeah, right. Oh, hold on. You should change your shirt too. I just been street fighting in real life, you know what I'm saying? I don't got time for none of them video game shits. When was the last time you got into a fight, Kevin? Right now, motherfucker, come at me, come at me. You ain't gonna do nothing right now. Nah. Why are you asking questions? All right, it's time to end this shit. Yeah. Uh, usually, I. What, how do you guys? What do you guys do? We usually do like a song. We each like. Like you sing a song. Yeah. 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 The, you do the yeah, first do, verse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do like a rap. <laughs> that doesn't. I don't no, know. No, Bobby doesn't like <laughs> rapping. Your, your your brother loves rapping. My brother loves rap. Yeah. Well, this is the first time I've heard about that. We got a very <laughs> non rap household, you know. I don't know if our mom would really like that, you know. What, what do you saying? listen to? Uh we listen to a lot of Three Doors Down. Uh we listen to <laughs> uh, listen to a lot of Creed. Uh, okay. you know. Nickelback? No. 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 <laughs> Too progressive for my liking. Like, as, as, as soon as he started dating that Avril Lavigne chick, I was like, it's not really for me anymore. Puddle of mud now, those guys. Yeah, those guys make a, those guys, make a, those guys make a fucking song, you know what I'm saying? Ah, oh, man. 
No, nah, but for real, what do you guys? Uh, <laughs> Which my call? Pick it? a song. You pick a song, and we share it with our audience for the week. Where's the, the, where's the fucking audience? In the camera. They're they're all in there. All of them. It's a fucking camera, bro. No, they're they're all in there. You ever seen the prices right? They're like right there and they come out and then they sit and they fucking they do the bids. You guys can't have the fucking people in the basement. The wheel doesn't fit down here, man. No, you sure about that? Have you tried? I have not. Have you tried? I, I bet Drew Carey fits down here. <laughs> That's like one and a half Drew Carries. So think about it. Dylan, what's your what's your yam? I don't even have my phone out, bro. I don't know. Jerry, word, I gotta fucking. All right, my Yo, slam. Kevin, what's your yam? The f- Kevin, if you had a if you had a song you like this week, Kevin, what is the fu- it? The, a yam, like a a, a vegetable. What the fuck is this guy talking about? This guy's insane. Yo, my slam for this week is "Safe in Your Skin" by Tidal Fight. I like it. It's a good song. I like it. <laughs> That's <laughs> all I'm gonna say. It's a good before. fucking song. Yo, you know what song I like? What song do you like, Jerry? Yo, I was introduced to it. There's this guy at my job that lives in Mexico, so he lives to listen to a lot of like Mexican like artists. And there's this punk. There's this uh, pop punk band <clears throat> called Diez Veces Yo. Yo. Yo, that sounds yeah. fire. And they have a song called Distancias. Yo. It's pretty good. I gotta check that one out. Spanish pop punk. There's a lot of Spanish punk people. So does this yeah, guy speak Italian? Italian. I fucking, <laughs> let me find out, man. I got to introduce you to my Nona. <laughs> my, Nona. Nona. my Nino. You don't, got a, you don't got one, Kevin? A music recommendation? Yeah, you I told it. you, Puddle of Mud, fucking... Yeah, but like a, oh, like a specific... Oh, like one, like one song. Yeah, one one like song you like. for this week. Oh, okay. I, well, yeah, yeah, I'll... Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll, t- I'll take a look at my. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll go take in a the look meantime. at my iTunes list. I don't know. I, I, like, I'm starting <laughs> to get an accent too. I'm like, hey, yo, yo, I'm about to. You make fun of zone? my accent? I am. Calzone zone. My yam of the week is Signal Hill by Polar. Very nice, like, acoustic kind of song. A little piano at the end. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm seeing you guys are doing some type of am thing here. So my wham of the week is going to be from uh, this guy, Vince Staples. Yeah, I don't. I think I'm uh, not really a rap guy, but, I, you know, the name suggests that he's some type of rock persona, right? The Staples. So the song North North. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go headbang to North North by Vince Staples. <laughs> Yeah, I have I have done three separate accents as Kevin. Yeah, we're gonna pick one. You know the you know you know the controversy behind that song. North North. Yeah, like a woman call like a, a bunch of women called in on the radio because it says the word abortion, Ooh. and they tried getting Ooh. it off the radio. And North they're like, "Side that. Long Beach." He also says that. Yeah, so, um, abortion. So maybe they should keep it on the radio. Exactly, guys. Before we, sp- yeah, Kevin's dead. No more Kevin. Fucking, before we continue any longer, uh, fucking, I just wanted to say thanks for watching the show, but at the time that this show airs, you can check out volume two of the Jam, the Yam, the Bam, and the Slams of the Week. Correct. Uh, we will be comprising, you know, our like 12 favorite songs from the last batch. I think the last time we did it was episode 100, so. Yeah, that sounds about right. There's, you know, what's 150 minus 12? There's that many songs to pick from. Turkey. You know, so. Stay tuned for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have our, our best music picks to share with you. Make sure to go ahead and like this episode of The Joystick Show. Make sure to go ahead and subscribe for Press more it. Team Joystick content in the future. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm a little tempted to pump out some stupid shit while the strike happens. You know that a lot of people are going to be diverting their attention towards YouTube and TikTok. Correct. And uh, I'm curious to see what we can do on that side of the internet. Uh, does anything have anything, anything, anything? Anything. 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 Thing any? Peace out, motherfucker!